What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, it seems an awful lot like we've got actual confirmation of the next four hero packs which are going to be coming around for the Marvel Champions Living Card game. Now, when the Red Skull box got revealed a little while back, they gave us this lovely silhouette. And it told us we were going to be getting a scenario pack with a villain. And it told us we were going to be getting four hero packs. Now, they did this before with the four pack. When they revealed that, they gave us the silhouettes. And I'm delighted to say that with four, I was able to accurately deduce that it was going to be Black Widow, Hulk, and Doctor Strange. Now, this time round, I basically put my car in the garage of Ant-Man, Wasp, Quicksilver... And Scarlet Witch. I told you I felt very good about Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. And I felt alright about Ant-Man and Wasp. And I really wanted them to be Ant-Man and Wasp. But I didn't think that the silhouettes were perfect. And that I wasn't 100% sure. Well, we now have two different places that seem to have gone and confirmed what these hero packs are. And it looks like... You know, not for nothing, totally called it. Of course, I'm not the only one that called it. And they did give us silhouettes of the characters. And as a side note, we know they're alter ego mode because they were on the 4 one. And I've spent basically my entire life watching Marvel stuff, reading Marvel comics, and generally being a big old Marvel nerd. That had to pay off somehow. And apparently it's paying off with identifying silhouettes of upcoming Marvel Champions packs. I'll take it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll take it. Now, we actually have what is essentially official confirmation of the female hero packs from FFG themselves. FFG Games en Espanol, the Spanish FFG Games handle, FFG being Fantasy Flight who do make Marvel Champions, they tweeted out this tweet. Now they apologize for the pronunciation. Regala! Hashtag Marvel Champions y convierte a tu madre en una superheroína. Which translates as, I do know a little bit of Spanish here and there, give away Marvel Champions and make your mother a superhero. Clearly, this is intended to be a tweet saying, hey, it's Mother's Day, Deal de la Madre is Mother's Day. Hey, it's Mother's Day, buy your mother Marvel Champions, make her a superhero. Now, here's what's cool here. It then lists out, all of the female heroes in Marvel Champions. La Viuda Negra being the Black Widow. We know she's got her own hero pack. Ms. Marvel, we know, has her own hero pack. Hulka is She-Hulk, who was in the starter set. And Capitana Marvel was again in the starter set. So we've basically had six heroes listed out. Two of them we know were in the starter set. Two of them have had their own hero pack since. Who else do we see? La Bruja Escalata is Scarlet Witch. That is how you say Scarlet Witch in Spanish. Now, why would Fantasy Flight Games be tweeting on their Spanish Twitter about Scarlet Witch unless the Scarlet Witch hero pack was coming? That would be very strange, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe, I suppose... As kind of, hey, we're um, doing, doing this thing and m maybe one day we'll get... But no, clearly that's confirming it. We all knew it looked like Scarlet Witch sitting down reading a book in a comfy chair. The hair was kind of a giveaway. But given that that's one of the upcoming hero packs, that seems pretty like it. What's the other one that was featured in the tweet? La Avispa. What's Avispa in Spanish? That's Wasp. That's how you say Wasp in Spanish, ladies and gentlemen. So the Wasp as well seems very much to have been confirmed. Fun little side note, Wasp is a feminine noun. So, you know, that's kind of cool. So it looks very, very much like FFG have inadvertently, deliberately, I'm not entirely sure, confirmed that we will be getting Wasp and Scarlet Witch. 
which is awesome. And it does totally match the silhouette. When I showed you this video previously, we had Wasp sitting at a table in a chair working on a computer. And you've got the kind of shoulder pad backpack looking thing, which is kind of part of Wasp's costume. So this is very cool. Here's the thing, though. That kind of confirms the dudes as well. Because if we go back to the silhouettes, they are clearly arranged with someone and the Wasp on top. And someone and Scarlet Witch on the bottom. And I'm sorry, I refuse to believe it's not Ant-Man and the Wasp. Followed by Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Ant-Man and the Wasp very much work together. Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are literally twins. They come as pairs. Also love that FFG is doing it. It's a really cool way to do things. Of course, we've also got the Avengers connection here. In that this essentially rounds out the Avengers line of heroes. Still no vision though. We don't have Vision, and that's genuinely a little bit upsetting to me. Vision is the one kind of real Avenger, so to speak. And let me know in the comment section if you disagree and you think I've missed someone who we haven't got and are not getting. Because presumably we're getting another big box set, another big campaign coming in. Remember, these dates are all two months out because of the delays that have been going on because of what's going on in the world. So Scarlet Witch will actually be February and our next big box will actually be coming around in March. And that will presumably be moving us away from the Avengers towards something else. Now, if that wasn't good enough proof for you, how about DiceAndDex.com? who have gone and listed the upcoming hero packs. And they've included Black Widow, and they've included the Hulk, and just off screen, they've included Doctor Strange, the next three that we know are coming and have been confirmed. And they also list Ant-Man, Wasp, Quicksilver, and Scarlet Witch. Oh, look. Now, if we have a look, there is no real information given whatsoever here, unfortunately. The release dates are all given as the 31st of August. Do not buy anything into these release dates, incidentally. These are placeholder dates because the real dates haven't been announced. They are not all four of them releasing on the 31st of August. That would be weird. And maybe, maybe Dyson Dex have it wrong. And maybe FFG tweeted out the four female heroes we have had. And two other random female heroes, but come on. I don't think we need any other confirmation here. To the point where I'm not doing another, ooh, what are the next hero pack is going to be video. It's not happening. Before we had a blind guess based on the silhouettes, me using the silhouettes to make my deductions. It was a fun video. I enjoyed making it. This is my, oh yeah, we've got all the information we need to be absolutely sure. And to be clear, I am now absolutely sure. When I say they are confirmed, in my mind, they are confirmed. I don't think we're getting any more of a confirmation until the FFG actually come out and go, hey, so here's the official reveal and we'll show you a bunch of cars and show you what they do. Now, if anybody's interested, over in Keyforge, a little while ago, we had a very similar leak, not on Twitter, but in terms of products being listed on a couple of websites early, and it did list set four of Keyforge as mass mutation, and this was one of the things we used to all basically deduce that mass mutation was going to be the name for set four of Keyforge, and it was later confirmed, as you can now see on the screen, the set four was called Mass Mutation. And that was another FFG game, and it was not very long ago. We're only talking a few months back. So the Dice and Dex leak here is very, very reminiscent of the Mass Mutation leak. You add it all in with the FFG Spain tweet, and, I mean, come on. I'm sorry you had to sit through my terrible Spanish pronunciations, but I don't think there is any argument at this stage. Now, for me personally, I am so hyped about Ant-Man and the Wasp. They are the two characters, other than characters like Gwenpool, right? I want Gwenpool so badly, but I know that Gwenpool is a year six if the game's still going and they're kind of stretching character. And I'm okay with that. But in terms of real characters, I wanted Spider-Man, but we got Spider-Man. I wanted Iron Man, but that was also in the core box. And I really wanted Doctor Strange, but we just got Doctor Strange. Really good hero pack. Going to bring you a review of that later in the week. Spoiler alert, I love it. It was Ant-Man and the Wasp that I really wanted. 
Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch sound very, very cool. But, yeah, Ant-Man and the Wasp. As for the scenario pack, I have no extra information on this whatsoever. I've looked on Dyson Decks. They don't have a listing for this scenario pack. So it's one of those where we have to just wait and see. We have absolutely no information whatsoever about this. So, yeah, sit back, relax, and wait for some news, I suppose. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from you guys. Are you as convinced as I am, and are you as happy as I am? Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, where we talk Marvel Champions and a whole bunch of other fun games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, all kinds of fun stuff. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.